What up, y'all? What's goody, what's goody? Not just gamer dads up in this bitch. In oh, <laughs> we back. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, man. We said we said we'd be gone for two weeks. It's been seven months. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the uh the 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 honesty of why uh the uh friendship that we built. <laughs> They're just like yeah. just like, oh yeah, man, we're gonna do all this shit and just life happens, right? Yeah, but that's that's how you know. Because like some people come and go, but like you know who your friends are when you not when they are constantly in your life but when you have to take that break mm -hmm. how do you guys re like how do you guys bounce back do you continue like nothing ever happened is it awkward you know what i'm saying like it not like some people it's awkward and you're like oh okay but like when the ones that you really rock with yeah you kick off like nothing ever stopped. yeah like it was only a day away yeah and that's what i wanted to talk to you about man since last year you know we've kept like we were already talking and you know you know building our friendship we started creating content together yeah and uh we're still talking and hanging out outside of just the like the streaming and content and we were talking about you oh, know yeah. i stayed with you guys you know you picked me up when we stayed at your beautiful house with your family and appreciate that and it's it's cool that through gaming we've we've met each other and just started building a friendship oh yeah no and it's and and I like it because we built a friendship, like we met through gaming, but our friendship's not through gaming. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need the gaming to keep being yeah, friends. Exactly. So it's like like you find you, you start off by like finding something you have in common and then you just kind of build from there. You yeah. Know what I'm saying like it's funny because like when we met, I think what was it? We was playing uh the, the split, split gate, gate joint, mm -hmm. right? And then with the types of games that we both played, we didn't even play the At all. type of games, but we still linked up and yeah, I would play the games you wanted to play. You would play the games yeah. I wanted to play. We'd make those compromises, found a way to have fun, and realize it didn't matter what we were playing. It was just our energy. Yes. It made sense. Yeah. It just like kind of like just it just blossomed yeah. from there. There you, know? you go. It, and and that's the cool thing too, because I you know I tell my wife about you guys, and I yeah. tell a, a lot of the people that I starting to get to know and more because we we we've, we've said this openly. There's a lot of acquaintances that we know, and we're cool with people, but not yeah. everybody's your friend, and that's okay. And I say. To people all the time i was like i'm genuinely getting to know people and things like that and we're still building our mm -hmm. friendship and we're still getting to know each other and it's cool because we don't need the content to be friends yeah exactly you yeah. know and then like because i feel like we don't need the content to be friends because we are the content like yeah that's what it is it doesn't matter if we're playing a game if we're just chopping it up if we're driving road raging and yeah in the traffic <laughs> yeah no matter what we're doing it's just like it's how we interact that's what people want to see like yeah. what i loved was like i made content and it's cool you know what I'm saying people like you, you have your own community, but like what I really liked was whenever I like said I was doing stuff with you, mm -hmm. people were actually excited to see it because I guess like the energy we had, right? Like just made sense and mm -hmm. was entertaining, and it wasn't you could tell it's not staged, it's yeah. Just, it, this is who we are, this is Jimmy, this is Tetsu now, and uh, it's just our energy, is yeah. what it is. You know it, I mean? It's cool because, like, uh, and I've always said I don't always co stream with everybody because sometimes the vibes might not be there. But you build the chemistry, and I think we've built our friendship off of not gaming, yep. <laughs> just by talking. Because I said it the other day when we were in yep. the car driving, we had a good conversation, just talked about life, family, and things. I was like, I gravitate toward you because you're a husband. You know, you're yep. a content creator. You know, you're doing this, you're doing that, and I and I respect that because I I'm a dad. I'm a dad too. Yep, exactly. You know what I mean? I'm married too, and and I'm yep. I'm transparent with uh with my community as far as what i'm going on that stuff too personally but you know and that's what gravitated me toward you and we just kept building friendships off of little stupid mm -hmm. things we would do you know what I mean? i'm actually glad we did because like with the way that everything is now like imagine if friend of our friendship was just off of the games that we played like mm -hmm. or just off of streaming because like as everybody knows fellow content creators even viewers like it's just not the same you know what i mean like when COVID came, everything was hot. Being a content creator just made sense because everyone needed somewhere to be to engage and mingle socially with something and have some form of a purpose. And then once we all able to go outside and touch grass, everyone's like, man, fuck this. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like for creators, it just we had to figure out how to adjust. And like I've seen so many people adjust. Some people not do this anymore or part time it again or just completely like just bash doing it because they didn't like the, the outcome, how it turned into now saying it was a waste of time. And, I've seen so many different answers and responses. And I've seen so many people that used to be cool not be cool anymore because what do you have in common anymore? Yeah. And then that shows you who's your who who is really there and who wasn't. Mm -hmm. Not because like you dog anybody that's away. Just like the whole aspect of like what did our foundation become? Like what was it? Our foundation was just off of gaming. We don't game. 
that we don't rock anymore. Yeah. No, it's just we just what we had doesn't exist anymore because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like when you build like that camaraderie with somebody off of your morals and off of who you are and what you want to be and you're not some staged person, it's easier to keep those friendships no matter what you're doing. Because oh, I'm not streaming anymore. Now I'm cooking over here in in Texas or something. Yeah. People are still gonna rock because it's still the same. You. Yep. You know what I mean? So when you get with somebody that has that mindset, is professional, takes it serious, it's easy to just link up and adjust how we support each yeah. other. Yeah. That's what I like, especially you taking off with this podcast stuff. I'm so proud. Of you, <laughs> hey, dude. thanks, man. I'm trying, bro. I and, and I and you know you've always told me, hey, do this, do that, and and Hell but yeah. but the thing is that a lot of people will say that and do that, but you genuinely mean it, and I know you do because mm-hmm. we've talked about other things and the way we carry ourselves as fathers and husbands and i so i know that when you genuinely tell me something you're not just being the yes man or the no man you know what i mean like i i I genuinely value your opinion on shit and a lot of people i don't care because they love people (laughs) we're talking about in the car like hey uh you should do this you should do that like fucking who are you (laughs) you're telling me to do all this stuff like thank you but i i don't know who you are you're not in my circle so you just I know, I know you everybody called you Jimmy, but you should right. Jimmy Dukes. What did that you would say? be crazy. What did you say uh the other day? You're like, oh, it's uh, when other people try to manage your project. What was that called? Oh yeah. Steve Harvey said he said he's like, it's so much easier for people to try to manage somebody else's dream when they don't have to work for it themselves. Yeah. And I was like, dude, that was so deep because it's so true. It's so easy to look at somebody's situation from the outside and say, This is what I would do if I was in your situation. But if you're never in the situation, you have no idea what's going on internally to how that affects somebody when you do get inside and you do like get into the trenches then you understand you know what they've done what they haven't done and instead of you telling them what they should do now you're just trying to make sure that they stay consistent yeah and that's the difference like if i see this is your passion and i know that you're gonna go in because i know your mindset your hustle like you don't if you say you're gonna do it you do it so if you're like hey miko i want to do this i'm like the hell stop it yeah i know you're gonna do it i'm not i don't think you're gonna try I know you're going to do it. Like, even like with this, dude, every time we link up and do this stuff, you upgrading something mm-hmm. or you're like, oh, I did research on this. Or how many people stream yeah. that do research on anything? Yeah, Nobody. that's true, you know man. I mean? So like, I know you're going to do it. So I'm going to push you. Yeah. And, and and it's, it is a good, and it's a good push, you yeah. know, because it's like, ah, maybe you think of this, you think of that. Oh, you know what? You're yeah. right. Because we were having a conversation about one topic and I'm like, it's funny how you, you think that. And me, I'm the opposite. But I respect why you think that way. And you're like vice versa. And so like we get each other's like yep. uh uh honest opinion about certain things we might not agree on or we have different looks on it, but it's cool to talk about it openly. Mm-hmm. You know, like having that car ride, you know, he came and picked me up and they live, you know, a distance away from where we're at. And yeah. just in the car, we were just talking. And I was just like, man, this is so cool. We kept saying we we're just nerding out that. You know, we've kept in touch. We're building our friendship and we're getting to know each other more and more because, yeah. you know, some of the things that we go through life and not, I might not look at certain things a certain way until you tell me yeah. until this, until that. And you and you've told me many times, man, you know what? I thought about what you said and maybe I should not do this or I should mm-hmm. do that. But, you know, and I'm just giving you my opinion of how I carry myself. I'm not telling you what to do, but hearing somebody talk about something and yeah. they're genuinely giving your opinion without being like not biased or trying to give you a hard time or try to change your mind it just maybe you'll just look at it a little bit differently yeah you can still mm-hmm. still stay on what, how you think about it but like okay um that's why i, I get like it the, yeah that's why i like the phrase i may not understand i may not agree with the what but i agree with the why like mm-hmm. i may not well i may not understand or agree the what like if this happens i would do it this way you would do it this way i may not agree because i would do it differently but i understand the why you did that and mm-hmm. it makes sense and if i was in that situation with the why i could see that yeah. making sense and that's just out of respect like, right when you respect somebody you know what they're into you don't have to agree with somebody to be their friend right like, i feel like the best way to be someone's friend is when you don't agree how do you still res- respect each other you know and then like like everything happens for a reason. Like what was the thing we said too? There's a time and a place for everything. There's time. There's a time and a place where my approach to things makes sense. Mm-hmm. There's a time and a place where your your approach mm-hmm. makes sense. And it's like you have to be able to like, like, like bounce off of each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because like we're not perfect. We all go through completely different things. We all have different upbringings, different you know mannerisms, different like morals, different cultures, everything like that. We're not gonna find someone that's exactly us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to be able to find someone that has those differences and to sit there and be like, okay, I see, I see you though. 
Like, yeah. you're not me, but yeah. I, I see you. Yeah, I yeah. know what you're doing. I see it. I peep it. I appreciate it. I respect it. And I could actually put that into a mindset of my own to better myself. Yeah. And, that, and then once you do that with people and you find those people you can do that with, I'm like, yo, hold on to them. Yeah. Because they're not everyone. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, because like, I said that even with uh, just talking to people even yesterday and, yeah. you know, I'm meeting new people. It's cool because, I mean... I, I, I like meeting people, but that doesn't mean that I'll be their friend or they'll be my friend, but it's okay as when you can tell that the other per person acknowledges and understands that mm -hmm. it's easier to talk to people and get to know them on, on a different level. Like we don't have to be best friends. Like, you know, we don't have to yeah. co-stream. We don't have to do this. We're, we're friends already and we're just building off our, our, our friendship. Yeah. And when it comes to this content creation, a lot of people, they, they like for this meetup, yeah, it's cool seeing a lot of people when I'm getting into, but we're all not going to all talk throughout the whole year. There's mad stuff. people there. Yeah, and it's okay, <laughs> but it, but it's okay, though, but you can see what's up and exactly. talk to people, but the people that you start getting close to is what we're talking about. That's when you can start saying, you know, your opinions on certain things and like, because we get, we're knowing each other. Yep. You know, we're getting to know each other, so it's easy for me to say, well, you should be doing this. You know what I mean? You yeah, should be exactly. doing that. Well, and then I mean, yeah. if I told you that, then you're like, oh, man, maybe maybe he is right. Maybe I'll think about it because I wouldn't say it just to say it. Exactly. Like, if you're saying it's for a reason, yeah. like, he's not just blowing smoke up your ass. And that's yeah. when you built that respect and that camaraderie with somebody. You understand, oh, yeah, he's not just gassing me up or he's not hating. He's like, he actually is looking out. And, like, to like it takes another level of, like, self-respect and, like, outward respect to another person to be able to give them constructive criticism knowing that they could react to it really bad. Mm -hmm. Like I, you have to have like that strength and respect within yourself to know how to say it. And you have to know that person to know how to say it to them, that they'll, right. they'll accept the it. way, the way you do, like the way you, uh, you deliver it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like what I, how I would tell you something may not be the way I tell like my wife, something, mm -hmm. my kids, something like everybody's different. There's triggers for everybody. And mm -hmm. like, you have to like, just, just go into somebody's domain that they have a passion in and just try to, criticize them before you even got to know them it's like the foolish thing in the world exactly because you don't know what they've been through you don't know what they've done mm -hmm. what they have it you don't know how they're gonna react to it you don't know if like what you said could trigger them and then then they react to you negatively and then you get offended and you're yeah. like well what a dick yeah mm, but maybe he's not maybe yeah he's he's, the timing yeah you know? exactly the way he presented the his comment or their comment is yeah. like, and the way you took it, it it all it all the delivery the the time and place how you were saying yep. like if if, if I'm on stream and I'm telling you, hey, you should be doing this. Like, why the fuck is Jimmy telling me this on stream while I'm like, has nothing to do with what's going on? You should play Pokemon right? Like, right. All right. Right. See exactly. Yeah. No, you know what I'm going to do now, right now. <laughs> Next time you go live, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yo, I'm going to just tell you what to do. <laughs> but you know, when you play hey, the but game, you know you're I'm, supposed hey, to win. But you, yeah, but you know I mean it, right? Yeah, right? Like, no, that ass. Like, like JK, but not really. You know? Right. <laughs> Though, so like, uh, tell us what you got going on. I know you rebranded. You know, a lot of people might not know, but you rebranded from the unfortunate one yeah. to Titsu's uh, Titsu's Temple, uh, Titty Temple, Titty Temple, Titsu's, <laughs> and and I I kept <laughs> TT um Titsu's Temple. So talk about like the rebrand and like why you did it because I know it was a big deal. We talked yeah. about it. And I thought yeah. it was cool because you're like, hey, what do you think this? What do you think that? Yeah. And I know that you weren't just asking anybody. You were getting feedback from your community. But you were asking me, hey, what do you think of this because of this because of that? And uh, I thought it was cool because you were going about it, in my opinion, you were calculated with the rebrand because you're like, yeah, I, gotta... I almost didn't do it, to mm -hmm. be honest. It was like, you guys are like, man, you guys, my wife, like, there was about four times I was like, why am I doing this? It's just, I already invested so much into this, but it was just like, shout out to Kaiju's Castle. He's actually the one that kind of talked to me a little bit about it and let me know things that he noticed. Not just like, he wasn't like, hey, I'm better than you. This is what you should do. He was just like, hey, man, when I try to find you here, this is a problem I'm having. This is a problem. Maybe you should put that into consideration. It'll get you more growth. Because he was like, he told me, he was like, I feel like more people, like more people should find you. But right now, the way you have everything in place is actually hard to find you. And I didn't think about that. I was like, but what do you mean? He told me, he was like, you know, your name. Not everybody can spell unfortunate. And I'm like, dumbass. But I was like, nah, you know, I can't be that guy. I was right. like, nah, it makes sense, you know. Like, sometimes you just can't spell for whatever reason certain words. It's cool. So I was like, you can't find me. And then also the one. I had to tell everybody when you search for me that the O and one's a zero. And it's like, I did that initially to be unique. But actually it was a dumb business move because mm. now you got to give somebody an extra step to find. 
range. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, damn, that makes complete sense. And I was like, I just, it just didn't make any sense. Plus, I'm also trying to be very motivating. You know, as a, a lot of us know, a lot of the social media stuff is a lot of depressed people. And it's not like a shot at nobody. It's just the reality of what it is, you know. And they come on here with their social, like, insecurities. And, like, like some people don't like talking in big groups. Or some people don't like certain things. But when you're on the internet, it's a little bit easier to, like, to mask those out. You know what I'm saying? So to come into our communities, I know I have a handful of people. I've seen some of yours that are, like, they really kind of do, like, what we do for them. Like, they tell us all the time. So it's, like, I try to motivate and inspire because they come into the stream sometimes. I'm, like, yo, I'm going through this, yo somebody in my family died or whatever and i'm like damn like what can i say to make you feel better yeah. so i was like i'm trying to be motivating but i'm the unfortunate yeah so i was like it just kind of seemed like almost hypocritical like let me tell you how to be good with my depressed ass like yeah. it just it didn't make sense so it was mm -hmm. like i need to find a way to make this work that the name fits like my my message my mm -hmm. direction and also my passions mm -hmm. and it was like you know unfortunate one there's no anime time that's just whatever the, the anime tie was in my logo that I had before. So I was like, I need to redo everything. I just need to start over from scratch and I got to figure it out. So I was like trying to figure out ways to do it. And I was like, I want my name to make sense. I want it to have a little bit of a Japanese flair to it because I love Japanese culture. So we were going up with a bunch of stuff. I know my poor wife, she was like coming up with all these different like names to like, like I was like think a word that describes me. Yeah. And she was and I was like asshole. Yeah. And, you're like <laughs> and I was like, no, I was like, I was like, I was like something short of like dick. <laughs> I was like, touche, touche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I remember you were calculated about it and you were and I like the reasoning and the why behind it yeah. was I was like, well, because I, I did tell you, I was like, well, I don't know, man, you've already kind of like everybody knows you as that, and you're like, Yeah, but and you gave me your list of reasons of the cons compared to the pros and i was like all right that makes sense because yeah you're not doing it just because i and and we've There's seen people that just do it yeah they just rebrand it just to rebrand why oh i'm this now well why uh i just wanted to change it. yeah no but there was actually a reason behind yeah the you know your content the way you carry yourself the things you like and that was and you tied them all together in the name and you you came up with uh the rebranding and i thought it was cool you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I appreciate that. Yeah, that was cool. I was like, all right. It just means makes, something. Like, yeah, it makes more sense. And even like know? now, you guys can see it. We're kind of rocking. I'm not, yeah, trying, yeah. To, I'm not trying to self-plug, but I'm a self-plug. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. These, yeah. these are exclusive. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's the only one that's got that. It's messed right. up. It says, Friend, it says wifey on here, too. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the wifey over there. It actually says asshole. Right? Says I, had, asshole. I had to get him back. But you it was know? too short. <laughs> and now we put dick. Right, dick. <laughs> D I K. <laughs> yeah, D I K, but there's four of them there too. Like they needed two for the K. Like there's one for the line, the other one for oh, the little, little straight C. I like so I liked it because Tetsu is short for Tetsu no Ishi, which means the will of iron, which was like the uh, it's uh you know I'm determined. And I was at a one a lot of I asked like 15 different people, name, give me three words that describe who I am, and the one word that everybody had was a variation of determination. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, some people like never giving up or determined or this or that. So I was coming up with so many different ways of doing that. But it was like, I didn't want to be Tetsu Noishi because it's too Japanese that I don't think the American side of my following would be understanding. Yeah. So I was like, I got to find a way to make it make sense. So then like Kaju told me, he was like, well, what, what's really good that he learned from another bigger creator was they were like, yo, give your name and then give your domain. Because when everyone's coming into your stream, when everyone's coming into where you, they're watching your content, they're coming into your domain. So the first word is who you are. Second word is your domain. So I was like, okay. So then I was like, I want to be, I, I, I try to be, I'm a very like, I think a lot. So it's like, I, I'm trying to be smart with the way that everything makes sense. So I was like, I want to have like some form of alliteration. So that's why I was like, something that has to start with a T. That's a domain that makes sense. And I was like, oh my God, a temple is Japanese, a temples and and all these, so it was not just Japanese, yeah, but yeah. that's known. I can you know relate, I mean? yeah. Yeah, so it was like, that made sense, as alliteration, and they said short and sweet. You don't want to have, like, you know, apartment, or something like yeah. that, a long word that requires spelling, because then I might as well just be unfortunate. Yeah. So it was like, Tetsu's Temple. Tetsu, super easy, it's how it sounds, Temple, everyone knows how to spell Temple. So mm -hmm. it was like, that works. 
And then, um, and it was more meaning behind it. Yeah, so yeah. Because before cause you, like Tetsu, I was like, "There's an anime character yeah. named Tetsu, 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 Tetsu." That's his name. It's right. Tetsu four times. Really? Yeah. And he's his body's made out of iron, and he's like dummy determined to get stuff done. Nice. And it's on the My Hero Academia. If anybody watches, yeah, it, it's, it's that one of those guys. Yeah, because I with the and you would always jokingly say because with the unfortunate one, it's like, "Why are you the unfortunate one?" Because and it always was tied to 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 negative things. Yep. And you were like, you know what? I'm over here, and you just said earlier, I'm over here trying to be positive and thinking my fucking name is the unfortunate one. I was like, and the you know, reason is negative. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. You, and that's why when you started saying all that kind of stuff, I was like, it fucking makes sense with yeah. the rebrand. So, and I, you know, you you do your positive message and, you know, you got your core community that, that loves it. A lot of people still don't know, but it, it is what it is because, you know, sometimes uh, we're not in each other's radar and it's okay. You know what I mean? A lot of yeah. people don't take the time to care and, it's fine you know what it's it is too but yeah you know what i mean 100%. but uh i'm glad that you went through the the rebrand and you know you stand behind it and you, you didn't regret it well it's, it's dope too because it was like you know one of our biggest things in doing this is like trying to find we're not just trying to just make it just streaming we want to get partnerships you want to get like you know you want brands that make sense to your mission and um i wasn't finding anything being the unfortunate one and then my boy was like well because it sounds negative and then the LLC, I almost started. My mindset was like, it's too intimidating. And I was like, damn it, it's true. Like, I, some people would have, don't want to touch the word. Excuse me. So I was like, well, I got to fix that. So then I did this, changed it out. And then the first partnership offer I got was for Buddha Stones. And because I buy their stuff, every stream, everything I do that I'm on camera, I'm wearing them. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we notice you wear our stuff. Yeah. And they're like, and your name goes with what we do. It's, a, it's, it's all like Buddha style stuff. And they were like, we would love to do something with you. And I was like, oh, worse. So I looked it up and it was like a legit partnership offer. And I was like, dude, one week into changing. And then right. I get. It's already a, uh, already yeah. a plus. And yeah. And I get, but I got an offer from something that I was never expecting, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, you know, you get a partnership to let's say an energy drink spot yeah. or a specific and like, like, like razor or something like that. But mm -hmm. let's say you don't like that brand, mm -hmm. but then you're like, ah, for business, I'll do it. Yeah. You can't really sell it because you don't believe it. Yeah, I can sell these because I literally wear them everywhere yeah. I go, and oh, the I same like company and the same brand, right? It's, yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. So I was already a consumer before I was a representative. Yeah, and I was like, that's like, you have to be that because right. then I'm not bullshitting when I'm like, yo, these are fired. I use them for this. I do mm -hmm. this. Like I meditate with these. I do these things. So if you want to be a part of that, or a lot of people like beads. Yeah, they dumped, but now they got, but they also upgraded to like bags, clothes, everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, this is the perfect time. That's so cool because they need advertisement for their new stuff. So mm -hmm. I was like. And my kids like the stuff. So I was like, I can literally, like, we are already going to be consumers for this. Mm -hmm. So then why not sit there and advertise? Right. So it just made it's Especially it's in a brand that you already like and, and you've been using. Because yep. the difference, you said, yeah, if somebody approaches you and you don't fucking use them, like, well, I guess I'll be a Razor creator because they're going to spend X amount of money. But I like Logitech. Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? Never, but you're going to regret the, it. Yeah. You, you genuinely already been using this stuff. And it's cool that they reached out. And it just so happens to be that. It fits perfect with your name and with your mission and your shit like that. And you actually use a product that's dope, man. Yeah, and it's not gaming because yeah. gaming don't isn't really pro. Well, it's not not that it's not profitable, but right now with the direction we were, everyone as a creator was relying on gaming in our field so far. Mm. But I wanted to be more. I wanted to do stuff like this, talking podcasts. I want to motivate people. I want to do things like that. It has nothing to do with video games. So for my first offer to be something completely away from video games, but to me, I, I took it as a sign that this rebrand is going in the right yeah. direction and i was like okay cool so i so i'm not gonna regret this i'm not gonna fall back on this I'm yeah not you didn't you away. didn't you didn't you didn't second guess it after you did it you're yeah. like i'm comfortable and i'm moving yeah, forward with a it. lot of people do that they'll yeah. make that jump i've seen other they, people or, back. i've seen uh, and i'm not i won't be saying names but i've seen yeah. one creator do one thing and they just gradually got away from it, did something completely different and then he's like sorry I'm changing because of this. And he lost a lot of people because it was such a drastic change. Huge change, yeah. You know what I mean? And he just did it just to do it. The way he, and it was amazing. He was a way bigger streamer and he just did it. And it just bombed. Bomb. I, just, I was watching him from afar and I've known of that other person because of other streamers that watched that person. But I would just go in there because I'm always very observant. I've always told that I like watching people and seeing how they carry themselves and, and things like that. Yeah. So when he was going through that rebound and he just did it and it didn't work, yep. I was like, damn, that was crazy that his core community and what he was doing 
was yeah. completely different and everybody's like, ah, I can't get with it. Yeah. And then if you if you do that and they told you they didn't like it and then it bombs and then you go back, they're still not going to respect exactly, you. Exactly, because, because you in their flip-flop. eyes, you didn't believe, you didn't trust their intuition. Yep. And it's like, that's what, that's what people don't realize, man. Being a like a leader, a community leader, because like content creators, you have to have a form of leadership because you're building a following, but they're following your lead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can you can inspire people to do things as a creator and it's like it's hard because there's a lot of expectation that comes with it that people don't realize it's like oh you're just playing games or oh you're just talking on a mic to somebody about bullshit um, people really take what we say to heart mm. and if you say something that could hurt somebody's feelings like it'll impact them right. and then how they feel will make other you have a semi kind of platform so what you say yeah, even yeah. you don't yeah. think matters even change it might name. matter to one person yeah you know there was uh you know because i watch you know i i watch uh Joe Rogan a lot, and he would have yeah. this guy uh, Eddie Bravo, and Eddie Bravo's a jujitsu guy, tenth planet, whatever, right? He would say ra- crazy shit, yeah, just to say crazy shit. And Joe called him. I was like, dude, you can't just say that just to say that. Yep. People are listening yeah. to what you're saying, and they might not take they they'll take it serious. Mm-hmm. So the way you carrying yourself, and you just can't say outlandish and dumb shit because if you like it or not, some people are looking up to you, or they they hear your message. Yep. And they, they might interpret it a certain way. So yep. you can't just say shit just to say shit. Well, that so, and then you got people that are preying on your downfall. Yeah. Like, no matter what you do, you're going to have people that root for you. And you're going to have people that are waiting for you to slip up. And they're going to they're gonna dramatize it mm-hmm. and just make it all crazy. And now look, look, oh, you, oh he said he was this, but look at who he really is. Off right. of a, a mistake that you probably could have made or yeah. something stupid that really doesn't represent you. People that, there's people that prey on your downfall. Some just because they have nothing better to do. Or some people got a beef. You never know. Once mm-hmm. you put yourself, that's why I tell so many people, and some listen, some don't. And it's like, hey, I did my job planting that seed. But when you are, when you do anything public domain that anybody can see and have a hold of, you have to be very careful about what you put out. And there's so many people I see out there that just like don't care about their public image, that just do whatever because they want a view. That's gonna be held against you in years. Like, and you don't, you may not see it now. But look at how many people like do politicians get called out for stuff right. or people that are like whatever because 10 years ago they did this and it's mm-hmm. like dude, that was 10 years ago mm-hmm. like but you have to think about that because if it was easy to just go out there and do stupid shit and get famous off of it and never have to pay the price we'd all be doing it. right you know this isn't like you have to take this serious so it's like even with the rebranding like i value what people said but it was like on my community i love them because it's like not because they just support everything i do but like they really believe in yeah so it's like you want to have people that believe in you that are going to push you no matter what and say whatever you do i'm here and then it ties with having friends that are okay with saying no nah, i don't agree with this yeah you have to have that balance so it's like i have my community backing me that i knew no matter what decision i made they weren't going to leave me out in the dust but then i had friends like you and i had friends like kaiju and a few other people that they had no problem telling me if it didn't make sense mm-hmm. like nah, that's kind of like away from what you're trying to do mm-hmm. like not nah, try this or whatever when i when i'm genuinely trying to figure it out but like i always had their back so when i released it i was man i was nervous it was like my first stream all over again i was like, right. like i know what to do but everyone was there yeah and i was like it was so motivating and it was just like you got but that's because of how i carry myself like how we talked about with like don't be don't go out there and be someone you're not mm-hmm. because then when stuff gets crazy or, or things change and you get under stress, you're not going to be able to hold that face, hold that mask. Mm. So when you're just you 100%, people are going to support you no matter what you do. Right. What, if you're trying something new, you're doing something a little different, they know you're not fake. You're just trying something new. Mm-hmm. When you get people like that, man, it's just it's dope. Right. It's easier I feel to go. More confident. Yeah. I say it all the time. I tell people that, yeah, I might not be streaming, but I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And, you know, people that support me or, yeah. you know, anything financially or just, by viewing stuff you, you're in, you're investing time in me and i and i and i appreciate it yeah especially with all the numbers everything that's changed and it's always changing so i mean if you can get people that yeah. are supporting you regardless of what you're doing that's when you know that you're starting to build uh that core community because people come and go but you have to have that core community of people that are always around yeah. or believe in you how you were saying and it's good to have because not a lot of people have it yeah you know, not a lot of people oh, have yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I shout out all the people that who regularly come into my streams or regularly like all my mm-hmm. stuff. You know, I notice we notice that kind of stuff. A lot oh, of yeah. people, I, I feel and I hope that I never get to the point to where like I can't recognize people. 
when they're supporting me on different platforms you know what i mean yeah that's and the thing i don't too, want yeah. like i know it's going to be a point to where like it gets ridiculous if you know what i mean but mm -hmm. you know i do what we do appreciate and yep. notice the the core people that are always there yes. you know that's why I mean? like i was like like going through this with the vip badges and all these special joints and og joints and whatever mm -hmm. it does make sense because god forbid like I, I get we blow up and then we forget you know people it's mm -hmm. like they're gonna remember that we yeah. may forget something but they won't they, they'll they'll never forget yeah. that we forgot yeah and it's like you got to be really careful yeah so it's like, i want i want to i don't want to be famous i yeah. really don't and i also i tell my wife about all the time i don't want to be famous because you see what celebrities go through they like you can't do anything as a celebrity without getting judged mm -hmm. it's like that stress i don't want that on my family but it's like i want to be to the position where i can support my family but that i won't forget my family yeah and like that's what i want i don't want to sit there and become a trillionaire from <laughs> cursing people out in the rock like, yeah yeah who cares right like, it's a stupid game like you'll be all right but like mm -hmm. i want to be someone that like it doesn't matter like it i'm we're we're good we're not we're not rich we're just we're good yeah you know what i mean and then our people our core group of people will always be remembered will always have yeah. something from us and it's not it's not hard to like Cause I guess it's intimidating when your chat just starts moving. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, got it. Yeah, cause you even said it. You will say, hold up, guys. I got. I'm gonna finish this point. And I'm gonna go back and check. And yeah. you do make it a point. Yep. That you do acknowledge that you guys are saying something, but I'm gonna go back to it, and you do go back. Yeah, and they stay. Yeah. And you have to do that. Yeah. I learned. That. I learned that from Stone. Yeah. I learned that from Stone. He said in the in the interview with somebody he was talking about. They said, "What's more important to you?" And a guy was like, "My chat." Mm -hmm. And I forgot who it was that he interviewed, but he was like, "My chat." He was like. What my people that are spending, he was like, he was like a video game could care less about you. He was like, any of these other things, they really could care less about you. You're looking for a bottom line. People that are in your chat are there for you. Mm -hmm. He's like, so if I don't reciprocate that I'm here for them, then all I'm doing is for nothing. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, that makes sense. Yeah. I was like, yes, I need to do the same thing. So I was like, okay, so that I make sure that if I know I can't read it and I know I'm probably like halfway in what I'm saying, I'm going to make sure I acknowledge you. So the first thing I look for is the name. Mm -hmm. So-and-so okay hey i see you in there i got you don't leave don't leave and I'm, let me just finish this part and i got you mm -hmm. then they're like okay damn this dude was in the middle of giving a speech in the middle of whatever the hell but he noticed me. yeah so i'm away i want to see what he has to say and then i'll make sure i get through what i say and i'm like all right cool and what i'll do is i'll scroll up chat to freeze there yeah so i won't see anything else i'm like i see a lot of people in there i see it still moving but i got you i got you yeah and you let them know like i give a damn about what you have to say mm -hmm. then that's how you keep your engagement yeah because i saw people that like they'll just read what's at the bottom yeah Dude, all those other people yeah. felt ignored mm -hmm. and then they leave and, and that's so a like, big mm. thing too i tell people all the time like even uh, other creators like that reach out to me for little things i would say yeah. read your chat well there's nobody in there well every once in a while just glance at it so you're used to it yep so you're so like you already are doing it without realizing because i've seen other people that they'll be playing and playing the game and they're trying hard on the game and people yep. are saying something and they don't go back and they'll read one or two things and then it just kind of like it's shitty as a viewer. It's like, I, I'm not that like you have to acknowledge me that I'm here every single time, but if somebody's adding to the conversation or making a point, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If it's bullshit, then you can kind of just, eh, okay, whatever. Like, yeah. ah, that's fucking funny. But if somebody says, Hey, I thought this too. Oh yeah. And then you go into it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause sometimes, you know, and by all means, we're not big streamers and our shit's going crazy, but I can keep up with what's going on and I can acknowledge something and go back and, yeah. and state a point. You know what I mean? And that goes back. Yeah, that's the thing with the, uh, you know, just building that core community. And that's what, you know, going looping back around, like just building bonds with people and building friendships through this yeah. gaming thing. And it goes past just the gaming. And especially when it's like your core community members who are in there always shooting the breeze with you and adding mm -hmm. to the conversation or saying certain things too. You're just like, hey, we're all here together. Yep. You know what I mean? And you to take the time to come in here and say what's up or, you know say something i can acknowledge it if, within Especially reason Especially sharing like you're yeah. sharing some people share personal yeah within reason too yeah within yeah. reason i can get back to your shit or whatever man so hell yeah so i that, like it you yeah build a community based off of your morals yeah because then they're gonna stay no matter what you do versus being that person that's only i'm i'm a this streamer mm -hmm. no nah, I'm, I'm a i'm a community leader like yeah we it doesn't matter what we do we get together and we vibe off yeah because like you said you can read stuff and realize if it's bs or not but it's like what I want to say real quick to piggyback off of that was there's a big difference in watching a live video with engagement versus just watching a video. Mm -hmm. Like I, if I want to watch a video and don't care if you respond to me, I'm just going to watch your VODs. Yeah. But everybody that goes to a live video, you're going for a reaction. Yeah. Whether it be as a reaction to you 
or reaction to what's going on. But you people want what's it called FOMO for your missing out. People have that and they want to be there. So like I could watch a video of you doing something and it's like, oh, that's funny. huh? But if I was there and saw it happen, especially yeah. when we do as creators clips of something that some people don't understand why it was so funny. Why do we clip that? Oh, but I was there. I remember because this, yeah, this, yeah. this happened and then boom. Oh, it's a different feel. You know what I'm saying? So when you're in there reacting, that's why I always in my lives, that's why I always care about content. Like, like I mean, community chats because my content is based off of my interaction with people because I want my 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 vods, my short term and long term to be you should have been there. Yeah. Like right, oh, you like that, that should have been there yeah, once you see it. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that gives uh the people gives people um I'm trying to think like a reason to go to the streams. Yes. Right? A lot of people feel and you know there's different ways that people go about their their content, but I've noticed by me just putting out short clips of the podcast of episodes, people get interested and then they go watch it. Dude, that's you know what I mean? Yeah, I love that's that how it works for me. And yeah. you know, talking to other like you using that as a, a reference too. Like you put out this clip and you're like, oh, what happened? So like things like that always happen. I was mm -hmm. telling you the other day, I was like, clip that shit, man. Cause you will be saying some of the <laughs> randomest shit. But like having good points and it's funny. And I'm like, you gotta just put that shit out there, bro. Cause it is. Hey, man. I just, I just and it's say, just, look. and that's just because of going back and forth with people in the yeah. chat. You know what I mean? Ninety percent is his wifey, man. Yeah. She's just, she just look good. And I just, I'm just, I'm just a barbarian. I'd be like, like that couch, man. I was like, yo, it's pops his couch, but it's about to be mine. Right. <laughs> and people are like, hey, yo, wait, where did that come from? I'd be like, man. I love my wife, dog. Like it is what it is. I right? just randomly be talking about eating ramen. Next thing you know, I'm like, yo, wife, you look good. I'm about to put her on the couch. Like I was like, clip that shit, put it out there. <laughs> so, you know, you've gone through the rebrand. You know what I mean? You're you're moving forward with, with the content. Like, yeah. how's how's this year been? I know it's been up and down for a lot of people, but how's your, you know, your state of mind when it's coming to this? Because a lot of people are like realizing this is not maybe for them. You know what I mean? And yeah. but how do you yeah. feel? Uh, how everything's going because you're and we have this conversation good. all the time yeah. you're a full-time guy you know you yeah. you have to keep up with different ways to keep streams going and things like that it's easy for me to not stream yeah. and not worry about financially just trying to make things work so how you've been dealing with that and you know with the ups and downs because you know we've seen people gone yeah i mean to be 100 percent honest like I, I have no problem being transparent i it's been a roller coaster months there's some months where i feel confident that what i'm doing holds a purpose and there's some months that I'm like, what the hell am I doing? And, you know, and then, but like the only thing that keeps me going is just knowing like people that know me, I'm not going to get my whole life. So people know me, know why I'm streaming and why it's it actually is harder for me to stop. Not because I'm lazy or not because anything, but like I have injuries and I'm, things are stopping me from doing the career that I literally went to school for. You know, I'm not, I didn't go to school to be a streamer. Like nobody goes to school to play video games. You know what I'm saying? Even podcasting, like some people just do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm a chef by trade and it's, I can't do it. So it's like, well, shit, like if this doesn't work, what will? Because I can't do certain things I used to be able to do. And people that know me know my limitations. So it's like, I'm too limited living off of somebody else's expectation. I got to make it on mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, there's some months where it's rough, super rough. There's some months where I, I almost quit, I think twice this year. I almost just like, I need to find something else. Yeah. Because it just, it, everybody went through that. And yeah. if like, and if and that, honestly, not quite if content creation, but just being a full time. Yeah, no, it was, there was one month I completely was about to be done. I was like, I just can't do this anymore. Like, I like, and I'm going to say it, like, a lot of people are scared to say this. And if you are, it's all good. Like, I'm not afraid to say it. Like, streaming makes gaming not fun anymore. Mm -hmm. And when you are doing something that's supposed to be entertainment, and now it's become a job and a chore, and then that's not working, you don't want to touch a video. Yeah. Anymore. You get into that mindset of, like, the f am I doing? Like, that happened to me multiple times. There's times I was like, I'm not going live. I'm going to go upstairs. I would just go upstairs and lay with wife feel like I'm a two year old. Like, oh, this sucks. Like, but I would do it. Why? Because it's just mentally draining. Yeah. And people would be like, oh, you just play games. It's whack. No, like, it's a lot more than just gaming. Like, mm -hmm. there's so much to it. And something but, like, you have to really experience and go through these ups and downs. And I'm grateful for the ups because it makes me not give up on the downs. Because mm -hmm. imagine if we started and we didn't get any love, any traction, any help, any growth. It gave up in January. Yep. Because it was like, I don't really have anything. But like when you have something, you have people that believe in you. You have people that come into your chat and say, I have people like, that's why I won't give up. Is because I had at least five to 10 people that said that they were 
on the verge of no longer being on this earth and what we what i was doing helped them still be here and they're still in my streams i was like i'm never gonna stop mm -hmm. there's days where i'm like i'll just take a day off i'm not quitting i no. can't i can take a day off i can take two but i'm not gonna get yeah it because and that, i can't yeah and you that know know helps I mean? with the purpose too right your purpose yeah. and the way you, and you're the way you're carrying yourself and things like that with the message and that's I like why, that. That's why I rebranded myself to yeah. this too. Because how can I name myself Tetsu and say I'm Iron Will and I give up? Exactly. So now it's forcing me to not give yep. up. Yep. Like being so, a hypocrite and shit like that. Yeah. That's good, man. And I and I see you, you, you know, always, you know, trying to do different things and you're transparent and willing to say, hey, I, fuck, I tried. We wanted to play this game. We was going in, but it just doesn't Trash. make sense. Right. You know, <laughs> but that's the thing. It goes back to the whole variety thing that yeah. we, we, we're we all experiencing now in, in you doing your TikToks and doing the cooking and involving your family with with certain clips. You know, you're just showing everybody a little bit of you in different aspects of life. Yeah. And I think that once we start doing that, certain type of people gravitate toward that. Because yeah. you're not just the positive person that's giving uh, motivational speeches or think comments like that. Oh, I also do cooking stuff. Yeah. And I've been doing this with the TikToks and I have the kids do this and my wife has this. You know, it's cool because they get to know you in a different aspect of life a little bit. And yeah. you start, people gravitate toward you, mm -hmm. you know, not just because of the game that you're playing. How exactly. you were saying, you know what I mean? Because yeah, of the way you carry yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, Lots of pros. Yeah. But yeah, I played games one time and say, all right, guys, this is the one off game. Let's we'll see if it makes sense. Played it for two hours. Sorry, guys. At least I got some reels out like, of it. Like, I loved it. Though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's with me with my streaming. It just, and it's funny because. We're such good friends, but we don't fucking play anything together because we have different tastes <laughs> in fucking video games. I'm like, bro, I'll play any shooter. You're like, I can't play any shooter. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you'll play a game for me and I'll play a game for you. But I think it's funny because we're variety streamers, but we don't play anything. <laughs> we don't fucking bro, play. Yeah. We, we end up just talking uh, in, in Discord or bullshitting yeah. more than we ever play games. Yeah, we'll be in the, <laughs> we'll be in a lobby for like two hours just talking. Like, yeah. right, we'll try this game. Yeah. Two minutes. Either, the first trash. game in either you or me is like trash. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll you'll play Fortnite for like two weeks with Xander, and I'm playing something else. I'm like, you know what? I'll get Fortnite to go. And, and you're like, Jimmy, you're, you're like, like, I'm burned out on Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I don't want to play that shit. I'm like, damn it. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna get my gro my groove and get my little oomph in. And then I finally get burnt out. You're like, all right, I'm gonna play with Xander. You wanna play with Kimani? Yo, fuck. Hell no. <laughs> I just played two weeks. Right? No way. Like it's just the time, but yeah. that's what makes it fun because it's like. <laughs> Even it, the games that we would play at the same time, um, together, we play at different times. Times, right? So, but it's like, but but nothing's changed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's what makes it fun because it's like, dude, those moments are so funny when we'd be asking, "You want to do this?" Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try something else? Nope. We're just being honest with each other, uh, yeah. and it's cool because we don't just do it just to do it. And there's sometimes where I'd rather just rock with you, and not a whole group of people. Yeah. Because like, dude, that's another podcast in its own. I'm like freaking, like you know. How many people should you play with at once? And it depends on how everybody is individually yeah. with you and each other. And it's just like there's some people I just can't rock with because yeah. of A, B, and C. And there's some people I can rock with. I can't rock with like this person by himself or this person by himself, but together it makes sense. Yeah. And there's some people that I could rock with both of them, but together it doesn't make yeah. sense. It's just it's crazy. But like there's some days that like I'm like, yeah, Jimmy, let's rock with some other people too, or let's just us rock on something. Yeah. Like, and that's that's why I like we can switch it up. Yeah. And it's, and it's cool. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't we could fall back and just doing our own thing. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. And I like that. We always loop around and have these conversations and, yeah. you know, we did that whole, uh, not just gamers, dad, uh, series and people still watch them, you know, even though they're a little older, I think the topics were so broad that you could watch those anytime. Yeah. And, and you know, like a lot of them had nothing to do with games at all. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people started seeing that, that, Oh man, it's cool that, that these guys are doing that. And we're, yep. we're actually friends building content that makes sense for us and we're having fun doing it it yeah. might not lead to financially doing like money or whatever but it's cool to get out and be able to do a project together yep. and, and we're we're you know second season still coming you know in, in a couple months you know but <laughs> but when it, it's cool because <laughs> like we didn't feel like we needed to do it but when we did it it was cool and we even we even yeah, jokingly say like, "Hey, we'll take two weeks off, and here we are, months later." Dude, I was not expecting. No, but, that, was, but that's how that's off, how was, everything changes. Yeah, man. I was so Everything's ready to going go. on. Yeah, I was like, dude, in the two weeks, three days in, I was like, I don't want to take two weeks anymore. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Like this was super fun. Like this, I had a, a schedule made sense. It was super fun. 
I was like finally doing something that's not gaming. It's super dope. I like it. Da 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 da. And then after the two week mark hit, then it was like life. Yeah, <laughs> a like, lot of things that yeah, were going on that we couldn't we couldn't figure it out, and we both agreed on it. It's like yeah. let's not do it just to do it. Like yep. we have to sit down because we we the the what we put out is we're not just throwing things on the wall. Yeah, we know that this works. Let's do it right. Yeah, it makes sense at that moment. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's like we know it works, but let's do it right. Let's not do it just to do it and rush it, 100%. and then it'd be shitty. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know, it, we're it we're not like that. Yeah, yeah, we don't like that, and that's why, uh, you know, the whole the topic of this conversation, just building those bonds and just being honest with each other. Because you're like, no, let's not wait. And I'm like, well, I got this, I got that. And then when I was ready, you're like, dude, I got this going on. I got this going on. Yep. And we didn't get mad at each other for letting yeah. each other know what's going on with each other's lives. Oh, I was mad. I was mad. <laughs> but it was still <laughs> pending, asshole. man. And we're gonna <laughs> and we're gonna do it. And it's it's gonna yeah. work. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. So we just build yeah. the anticipation a little bit more for you son of a bitch. But uh yeah. but yeah, man, I, I, I love creating content with certain type of people because it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Not everybody can make content with each other just because you're a content creator yes you know what i mean and a lot of yes. people need to be okay with that hey you're not in this co-stream you're not invited here yep. or uh why didn't you ask me or why you know things like that hey just it don't take anything time. personal or anything place. like that everybody has different uh lanes and vibes when they play certain games yep. like i can't keep up with you guys with naraka i know you would let me play naraka with you guys mm -hmm. but if y'all going in on on ranked and shit like that having my dumb ass not keep up and shit like that i wouldn't do that to you yo you were great though look look don't don't, <laughs> would, don't let him lie to you guys wait I, a minute i, I mean i'm okay any game i play i'm decent i'm not the best guy but i'm not in last like, she's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? i'm not the best guy but i'm not i'm not in last always no you you made sense though which people i'm like damn it jimmy like you made sense because you're a shooter yeah so when you had the the cannon and the other stuff i was getting in there oh getting yeah all that was dope yeah and you was blowing them away yeah. with the cannon you saved me like six yeah. times yeah that's so i was true. like i have no problem because yeah. i'm used to playing i'll take all the smoke yeah because i can survive somewhat just blow us and all and i said up. i will I be going back to naraka to play with I like that because uh, I'm anytime that there's any type of shooter games or whatever, I'm always kind of the support guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, what do you need? I, pings. You need my health. You need, yeah. you need ammo. You know, yeah, exactly. take my gun or, you know, you know, take my weapon. But uh, but yeah, like like we have different style of games, but I always feel like I wouldn't do that. I, I know if I had to ask you like, hey, man, let's play rank. You're like, you really want to play? OK, cool. You know, but I wouldn't just say to play rank and I'm not trying to be good you know what i mean we, yeah. we we could rock and play in regular lobbies and shit like that well dude the custom <laughs> lobbies are dope like i know it's gonna be a lot to talk about it but they had a new they just added playstation 5 um so now playstation can play this oh it was only X computer first then it, they opened it up to xbox for about a year now they're opening it up to, uh to playstation so now all it's and it's fully cross play so if you're on playstation we can even make a lobby together but they have custom lobbies too and they're allowed you can either choose to block or allow cross play they got a new one that's domination 15 versus 15. Damn. So I was like, first tournament I'm holding is going to be PlayStation versus Xbox. There you go. If you're on Xbox on this side, PlayStation on this side, go at it. Don't even worry about the points. Just meet in the middle. Just throw hands. Like nice. <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's so cool, right? Yeah, that's, but that's what happened to me. Make a like, circle. What's this? Yeah, make a circle. Like everybody starts going in battle. <laughs> that would be dope. Bro, I went into that. I was like, what is this mode? Everyone's like, it's fire. It's fire. I was like, all right, I'll try it. I was like, wait, is this domination? It's like five points. And they're like, some of them are kind of far. They're yeah. like, what the hell so i was like i'll just go in the middle i'll figure out what's going down so i went to the middle walked up and like 10 people just walked up on me like yo what <laughs> what are you doing on our side of the block punk type shit i was like oh snap <laughs> but they all stood there like posted up but they was about to jump me and i was like oh this is about to be crazy and then like 10 people on my side came up and it was like that what's that old school movie damn the, um gangs of new york kind of like that but what's it's it's like the like the dancing joint with the West Side Story. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to just start snapping and shit. I was like, oh, we about to, what are we, there's no sense. Like, we about to start dancing. <laughs> the next thing you know, everyone just, wah, just in the middle, just, ching, 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 That's ching. so dope. People activating, like, their abilities and shit. And <laughs> people healing each other. Dude. I was like, yo. Big ass, big ass battleground and shit. Yeah, after everybody died, no one got a point because we didn't take any <laughs> yeah, no points. One. <laughs> but that's why it was a custom game that was yeah, cool yeah i was like oh this is fire that's how you could make it fun like yeah, yeah that's how you could make it fun <laughs> so like so now you're back into the the, the the rock and going about um being the variety streamer you know 
it's hard and you've even said it hey guys it's kind of hard for me to play this game because it doesn't make sense yep and i'm and it's cool that you're open and saying that because a lot of people will just all right you guys want to play it all right we'll play this yeah you know what i mean and it's hard to hold a stream let alone if half the people don't care about the game yeah you know or what i you. mean yeah or exactly you. yeah yeah exactly so it's just like if i don't even like playing this game that much like it doesn't make sense guys we can if we can do all this and those incentives like hey y'all want to have a you know a random ass game night we can play that all right but let's let's work on our mission and what we're doing and what i want to provide content wise in the games that i want to look forward to and play yep. help that, me help you yeah you know because i have core like i will play any shooter games like that's me that's my core genre for games is i'll play shooter games not just one shooter game i'll play yeah. a little bit of everything but at least it's all shooter games you know so if i play something completely different if i'm playing like a I was playing like a 2D game the other day and I was jumping around and I was like, oh, this is cool, but they didn't, it's not really something I do, but I was yeah. like willing to do it, but it's not something I'll do all the time. Exactly. Or sometimes you won't do it online. Like I'm going to start doing some new stuff. I'm not really going to like say too much. I'm going to wait till I announce it. But you know, sometimes you've got to be able to mix online stuff and offline yeah. stuff. You have to like, cause you got to be able to switch up. Cause there's some stuff that doesn't make sense to be live. live. There's some stuff that doesn't make sense to be online. And there's stuff that doesn't make sense to even be a, like offline stuff. Like mm -hmm. some games, you just you need to stream. Like yeah. some games that no, you shouldn't be streaming. Just yeah, make a YouTube video. Yep. Like there's just ways to go about things. It's like once you learn, you have to be able to adjust. Once you do, yeah. you're good. Yeah. So. And that's yeah. like the over always the ever evolving, changing of things that all us all individually always trying to figure out. Because. Just don't it, don't do reaction videos. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you Just get stuck and being complacent, doing the same thing over and over again, you're not gonna grow or yeah. you just evolve. Or like a lot of people are gonna gravitate towards somebody who's doing a little bit of what they're already doing, and then bringing in a little bit of this, a little bit and of know that. how to, know how to follow a trend. Yeah. Like, don't just do it because everyone's doing it. Because if that's not what you're known for, it's gonna look stupid. That's Point another thing period. too that like, I I I mean I get it. It makes sense for a lot of people, but I was even talking to Spain Queen. And she yeah. was saying it. She's like, you know what? My my highest video on TikTok was a million people, and I was singing. I don't want to do singing TikToks all the time just because it hit a lot of numbers. Like it, it's not me. Yep. And I was like, well said, because a 100%. lot of people will do something just because everybody else is doing it, and they want to chase the numbers, which is fine. I don't if that's what you want to do, but that's not me. If I'm gonna start doing shit that I don't normally do. You're and never I gonna say, be happy. yeah, I just kind of like, then you're going to get that person. You've even said it sometimes if you play a random game or whatever, and that was that one time off game and you don't play it again, like you lose somebody compared to if they already know that, hey, we're just switching in this game. And if they if they are around your community, at least you can they know what's going on. Like, hey, I normally don't always play this game, but I play this and this. I play these style of games. Oh, OK. He not might play this game, but he also plays other melee battle royale games. Yeah. Or like they'll be like, man, you don't play this anymore oh wait you play this i play that too yeah and that's the thing too because i'm telling everybody like man like gamers don't play one game yeah we don't only do we don't eat one thing we yeah. don't drink one thing we are your life is a variety mm -hmm. experience itself is a variety so it's like you have to be able to make your variety make sense with people's lifestyles and you have to be able to like realize that there's certain times that people are going to get off at a different exit we're all on the same highway but we get off at different exits but we'll eventually get on that highway again but don't worry about that mm -hmm. it's not your exit Keep focus on the road. You know what I mean? And it's like, you got to be able to do that with your variety content or you just, if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't cling to what you are and like what you represent. It's just, it, people are going to see that it's forced. Yeah. And I always live by, I can't remember who said it, but it was a reel I saw before I even was streaming. Was it a reel? I don't know if those things were called reels back then. But it was just a motivational speaker was talking about like, you have to find something that makes you feel good before you get paid. Because if you waiting for the paycheck, you're never going to be satisfied because you know that you can make more. Mm -hmm. So they're like, if you find something that when you do it, it makes you feel good, then when that stuff comes in, that's a bonus. But at the end of the day, no matter what, the moment you hang it up for the day, you're at peace every day because you're doing something that makes you feel good before any other monetary gain. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, that's why when I started streaming, I was like, I'm going to make sure what I do, everything I do is what I want. And if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it because I'm not selfish. But at the end of the day, I can't consistently be there for my community and give them what they want if I can't feel myself doing it. Yeah. So I was like, nah, there's no way. I think I just dropped this. There's no way um, that I'm going to just sell my soul. Yeah. Like, I've never been yeah. that person. I'm not going to be that. 
So yeah, I got some videos that <laughs> that got hella views, but I didn't really. It was a reaction. Yeah, but it's it not was, like you're always do, like. Yeah, you, happens, you can dabble in cool. stuff all the time. I tell people, hey, like do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and if it makes sense for you to keep doing it, keep doing it. If not, then don't. Yeah. Because if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, how you're saying, I was like, well, everybody's. Because I even tried. We even tried doing one, and we didn't really release it. We tried to do a reaction video, and it was fun, but it wasn't us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we both said, we're like, we tried to do it. But everybody else was doing it. Yeah. And we're guilty. Like, I'm not saying that we pay attention to what's going on. There's maybe nothing I, wrong with trying. Yeah, it. yeah maybe Try I it. could make a couple reaction videos, but now yeah. I'm not going to be known and depend on reaction videos to carry my content. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's not me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, when people are like, oh, now you're just doing podcasts? No, I still stream. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm still playing hockey. Yeah, I'm still doing this. Yeah, I'm, I still play with my kids. That, that's I'm a package. Yep. I'm a package and I have different things to offer all the time. It's not Doritos with different flavors. Right. Uh, different shelves. You know, we, we jokingly had made that, you know, you made up that, that, that analogy and shit. It was perfect, but it's true. It's just like, I am Doritos. Cheese, Cool Ranch, sour cream, barbecue. I, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm Jimmy and just Wait a minute, different... they got sour cream. <laughs> right. Oh shit. Like... <laughs> you know, right? exactly. like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. But yeah, I just like, Oh, but, Doritos, you know it's going to be good if this fool's doing it. Hey, bro, dude, exactly. All you have to do is build a rep. Sorry, I got dummy anime. <laughs> you got to <laughs> you gotta build a reputable brand. Once you build a reputable brand, it does not matter the variation of the flavor or whatever. They're going to know the brand and they're going to be willing to try it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, like Doritos. You love Doritos. There's people that don't, so they don't give a damn how many flavors they got. But if I like Doritos and they came out with this new flavor, like I like Cheetos. So they came out with like the Mexican street corn and wifey was like, ew. I was like, man, I like Cheetos. I'm going to try it. Then they came out with this like tangy joint. I was like, I'm going to try it because I know Cheetos busting. So I'm like, I I I'll eat it. I'll try it. Now I'm like, nah, I didn't like this one that much. Or damn, I like this one. But then they came out with like a popcorn. I was like, they make popcorn, but it's Cheetos. Yeah. It's the same company. They just trying something different. Yeah. And sometimes it stays on the market. Sometimes it doesn't. Limited time. Oreos does that. Yeah, like 50 different flavors, but they're not all available. Mm -hmm. Why? They tried a flavor and they went back and just did analytics. Mm -hmm. Once they did that and realized it didn't make sense, it's not on the shelf anymore. Yeah. But it's still there if, they, if it makes sense later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, you can just, it's cool. I don't know why they're calling. She's like, Jimmy Duke's gaming. How can I help you? <laughs> but, you know, going into the, you know, for the end of this year, where do you see yourself as far as like, Oh, I got an answer. Yeah. Happy. There you go. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to see myself happy. That's it. Mm -hmm. If it means I'm doing the same thing, cool. If it means I try something different, cool. I'm I'm going to make sure my goal by the end of the year is to embody that I'm still at peace with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm done trying to give. I, I have You have little goals, but by the end of the year, am I at peace? Because yeah. you can chase goals all day and hit those goals, but are you at peace? Mm -hmm. I just want to be happy. That's cool. I like the uh, the simplicity of that. Instead yeah. of like people, I want to be this. I want numbers. I want this. That's cool. Because like, look at Facebook, dog. Yeah. I want to be partner. Yeah. I want to have this. I want to have that. And we all got that. No. Facebook just dropped this. Mm. So what did you really gain besides stress? Because mm. you chase something that doesn't even hold weight to you anymore. Because now either some people remember when some people got it, everyone got it. And people were like, oh, everybody got it now. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What yeah. does that affect you? Mm -hmm. Who cares if everybody got it? Who cares if you earned it or didn't earn it? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because now, where are you? Yep. You don't even give a fuck about your supporters. Right. You don't give a fuck about your follower count. Mm. Why am I going to make a goal that can change at any minute? But happiness is something that I need to hold on to myself because that's my life. Nice. And I'm not going to be a partner on any platform or a million this, a million that, and be depressed. Yeah, or be and not be happy yeah, yeah. with what you're doing. I, I like that you said that because I think a lot of people more now and I've, I've, I've said it many times when, you know, when you said the reckoning, it's true because you get to see people that step out of their comfort zones and start creating different content and stick with it after that, you know, you see people evolve. Mm -hmm. You know, the people that kept doing the same thing. I don't see a lot of people doing the same games anymore or even around anymore playing at all. Like some people don't even stream at I'll, all. Yeah, I'll, I'll randomly think of somebody and I'll go to their page and it's like been months since they posted anything and I'm like, oh, damn, like, they were done. You yep. know what I mean? Or these big guys that did have everything that everyone strived for, 
they're not here anymore. Yeah. They went to another platform where they're yeah. doing something completely different yeah. or they're taking a break and one of the big streamers just retired. Like yeah. and their story was like sad. Like yeah, I felt I, bad. Like, I have a million dollars but I'm depressed because I fucking I'm not having Ex fun doing this exactly. anymore. There was one guy, I think he was like a big Fortnite guy, and he was like twenty four years old or something like that. He's been streaming since he was seventeen and he's like Not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy. I I I'm retiring. Everybody's like, What? And people that knew him knew him were like, good, good for you, man. Yeah, yes. And that's, and see, and that kind of Instead ties Instead of like questioning, like, why? Yes. You're on top of the world. That goes into the friendship thing we're talking about. They may not agree or understand the how, but they know the why and respect mm -hmm. it. So the people that he kept in his circle knew why mm -hmm. and supported him regardless. Yep. But the people that weren't his friend, like, how could you quit? Yeah. Well, maybe if you were his friend, you'd know. You would know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Damn, that was a good. That was a good time, <laughs> my boy. Yeah, yeah no, because everybody, everybody has be special, right? Everybody has um different goals and different things that they want to pursue, and sometimes yeah. they realize that maybe this is not as important as I thought it was. So maybe me just stepping away or doing less is okay. And a lot of people, because I would say, ah, that fucker quit. But in my head, I'm like, I don't know them. I don't know what they're going exactly. through. Exactly. Yeah, I I don't know. Yep. Maybe they they realize that maybe this wasn't for them, and they're okay with it. Yeah. Instead of just seeing somebody say, ah, they quit, ha ha, they didn't, keep, they couldn't keep up, ha ha. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just being more mindful and thinking about, you know what, maybe they, they had a lot of stuff going on and it didn't make sense in their life anymore. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. were okay with it, but they don't have to prove to you or tell you why. Exactly. You know what I mean? Not, if it's not paying my bills, I really can yeah. care less. You know I like that, the, the simplicity of just being happy, man. I look forward to the end of this year and seeing what else you got going on, man. Got the rebrand going on. You got yeah. your beautiful family. The little girls running around now, and it's cool that I got to see your kids. And you know, even Xander's. Oh, were well, well, you playing games? I want to play with you and Miko and uh, Kimani. I'm like, no, we're not playing games. But, but it was cool because like they <laughs> are. To to we're, we're generally getting to know each other's families, yeah. and our kids are you know you know playing games. And you know, it, it's cool that our our the friendship that started just through Splitgate randomly. Here we are almost two years later just still And it talking. wasn't even us planning it. We yeah. were like the plus ones. Yeah. Or somebody else put us together. Shout, yeah. shout out to Hendrix, man. Yeah, it sounded like Hendrix, Hendrix, man. Shout out to Hendrix. He, he put us on together, and and we've been we've built a friendship randomly. Yeah. And we've become friends outside of the gaming thing, man. I appreciate your friendship and everything likewise, that man. you add to my life, man. You're an asset <laughs> in my life, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for your time. You're going to dab me no, up. Or not? I, was, I was crying. I was crying. No, nah, man, I appreciate, I appreciate you too, man. Yeah, man, for, for sure, real. man. So we're going to go downstairs and go check That's out this meetup and shit. <laughs> and, uh, Dab me up, dog. <laughs> Dab me, right? Yeah, man. Dab me up. Uh, I'm going to freeze frame it like this. <laughs> I'm not wearing a shirt. Shake my hand. I'm wearing a shirt. Shake my hand. <laughs> man, for sure, man. I look forward to uh, when we get down and uh, get down to the gamers, uh, not just gamers podcast, and get back on that. Because I know yeah, that for real. we're people are asking for it, and we're, we haven't forgot. We just... We're, we're gonna get there, y'all. We're, we're gonna get there, and and I appreciate you, bro. Thank you yeah, so likewise, much. And thank you for having me on. Yeah, again, for man. sure, man. Always, appreciate man. You, you know, bro. always the IRL ones for are real. way better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always yeah. for sure, man. Hundred percent. Yeah, y'all make sure you go check out uh Tetsu's Temple. Tetsu. Tetsu's. I keep fucking it up. Tetsu's Temple. It was supposed to be easier, Jimmy. I know, and I just fuck it up. And now Tetsu, I gotta get the unfortunate Temple. one tomorrow. Right. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tetsu's Temple. He's on kick. He's on Facebook. He's on Twitch. He started doing the variety thing. Y'all go check him out I'm on everywhere. TikTok and everything. All the description will be down below. He rebranded everything, so it's easy to find him I on, on the Amazon on, too. right on that. the new name. What? You stream on Amazon. Hell yeah, I did it. I got two followers. Yes, that's it's dope. Kick. I wanna, I wanna do talk to about that shit. All that's right, not restream, baby. Right, do it to him. Until next time, y'all. Your boy Jimmy Dukes and Mister Tetsu's Temple, aka the unfortunate one. If you guys don't know. Make sure you guys keep up with the name. Appreciate Until next guys. time, peace out, homies. Y'all take care. Mm. Mm. <laughs>